Hello, this is Carrie Margaret with Create Love, and I want to tell you about one of the most magical people I've ever met in my life. Now, what was magical about her wasn't uh, the size of her bank account, her ability to roll out offers or um, create new businesses. Um, it wasn't uh, the art that she created. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't the size of her thighs. It wasn't the shape of her waist. Um, it wasn't any of these kind of like external factors of um, quote unquote beauty success, artistry, and talent, all beautiful things in their own right. It was the magic that she wove throughout her daily experience. And everybody that was around her got a chance to be brought into her magical world of possibilities. Uh, I met her when I was in Venezuela. I did my senior year abroad in college, and I had the privilege to do my senior year abroad in college. It is a beautiful privilege to be able to travel and to create travel in our lives. And I um, met her in a place called Merida, Venezuela. And we traveled together. Uh, we met in Merida and we traveled to um, a beach town that is called Chuao, uh, that is um, on the coast of Venezuela. And the only way that you could get there at that point was um, from a boat. You had to take a boat um, from a neighboring town into Chuao to get there. There were no roads that went in. That or, you know, a few days hike through the mountains. So there was this isolated um, Caribbean, Afro-Venezolano, Venezolano, that's in Spanish, Venezuelan um, town and uh, culture in Chuao. And Chuao is one of the places, at least at that point, that had like the sweetest um, cacao fruit, chocolate fruit in the world. Uh, and they would harvest chocolate and it was filled with fishermen as well as a fishing village. Uh, and me and my friend, my magical friend, went to Chuao for a few days and um i remember we would like walk down the road from the beach um to the main village and it was like a dirt road and it was just lined with all of these mango trees and these tropical trees and as we would walk down the road, she would like point out how and what in the shape of one tree, if I could see the dragon there, or if I could see, you know, all of these different shapes um, uh, of, of fantastical creatures or, you know, art that she saw everywhere in the trees. And I remember just being like pulled into like the richness of experiencing life with her and everywhere she went she pulled people in um, with her magical mindset you know and her magical mind full of of possibilities and it was her imagination um, it was her essence uh, that created so much magic all around her everybody felt it it was pretty irresistible to be around and today you know today is the week of valentine's day valentine's day is one of my favorite well it's one of my favorite weeks the whole week it's one of my favorite weeks because uh a few years ago i decided that 
Valentine's Day for me was really a celebration of self-love. That's what I turned it into for myself. So no matter what um, is going on in my world, whatever stage of anything that I'm in, Valentine's Day is a celebration of self-love for me. So I'll, I'll speak to you in a minute where I was before doing this video and where I am in my celebration of self-love. And I felt like I wanted to share today this story of my magical friend and her essence. Um, Cause we all have our own magical essence that really has nothing to do with like all of the things on the outside. There's so many narratives. There's so many dialogues about like, um, how to live life, um, you know, uh, how to even love ourselves, how to um, attract love and love others, how to attract mates, how to attract sexual partners, like all of this stuff. There's just like this world of conversation in the internet, um, in all areas around love. And I think one of the things that's frequently lost is how magic we actually are each one of us and how each one of us has a unique essence um for women i like to talk about our unique radiance or unique radiant signature um for men everybody has their own magical essence as well and you know, really what it means to be able to be aware of that and to be in the deliciousness of our own experience. If you can remember, like right now, my exercise is just not even to edit, it's just to record and upload. So I'm going to leave that little flaw in there um, as part of the perfection of this video. And I would invite you in this week to be in the deliciousness of your own magic and to really let yourself feel that no matter what you're going through i for example earlier this week in the beginning of this week i had a migraine that i periodically get migraines and um I got to be in that experience with myself. So part of me being in my magic this week and loving myself this week was um, using the kindest, most gentle voice that I could with myself as I was experiencing the migraine and just talking myself through it the whole time with such gentle love and kindness, such compassion that it actually like brought down the pain level like quite a lot. Just this amazing amount of tenderness. And then I felt so held and so cared for and so loved by myself. At the end of the experience, it felt really tender and really special. And it was an experience with myself. So you know, sometimes we can be in the magic that we are when we're going through a painful or a difficult time. That could be physical pain, it could be heartache, it could be grief, it could be any amount of struggle, um, you know, any kind of change that we didn't want or anticipate. And yeah, I would encourage you to take this week and then just invite you to see what it would it feel like if I just started even for, even if I can't sustain it for a whole week, I celebrate my birthday for like a really long time as well. I see it as like a celebration of life and I'm so grateful to be alive. I'm so grateful to feel all of the things and to be here and to have this experience. And that means feeling the pain too, like the migraine and I've experienced my fair share of, you know, my own challenges and grief and heartbreak. Um, I was going to talk about that a little bit in this video as well. And maybe I'll talk about that later on a, on a later video. Um, I want to make this video about 
me loving me, you loving you, feeling the magic that you are because you are magic. I promise you, even if sometimes you can't feel it, there is absolutely magic inside of you. So this week, um, I am actually launching a course for women called Radiance about rediscovering as a woman your self-love and your radiance and your magic within. Um, so that's it's it's um, going to be a fairly low-tech launch. Um, so if you're interested in reconnecting to your radiance and your sense of um, self-love and like deliciousness and connection with yourself, um, I'd love for you to join me. I'm going to just put down below my Instagram, you can DM me, uh, radiance. And, um, yeah, I, I wasn't exactly like planning talking about that at the end of the video, but it is kind of perfect, uh, for women. And, um, I do not have an offering this week for men, but I do have an offering for people that are, um, experiencing any kind of stuckness with grief because when we do amazing grief work this actually isn't my unique offering it's part of a community thing i'm doing but on the 24th if you are local to southern california um you could come to a um group um grief um healing circle that's like amazing um, and allows you one of the one of the ways that we can get stuck in um, not feeling our magic, not feeling our aliveness, is when we have stuck pieces of like um, unintended and unprocessed grief. So you could come and be held and release some of that uh, with me um, to reignite more of that aliveness and that energy uh, within you and your own magic. So two things to keep in mind um please you know if you like these videos subscribe keep on coming i am playing with something right now i'm starting to create sacred space before i record which feels very alive and exciting i already have done that with my interviews where i create sacred space before the interviews and i'm creating sacred space before i go online and I love the idea of creating sacred space together and for you um, on the internet. How cool is that? I said in my last video that I just want to be in sacred space all the time. I'm like, why not create sacred space online um, for you to be all of your amazing parts and to feel incredibly alive because you are here to be alive. You are here to experience it all and to give your lift, your your gifts. Again, I'm not going to edit that one out. To give <laughs> to give your gifts, and to feel the fullness of like uh, your heart and your desire and love for yourself and for others. So, wishing you a super happy Valentine's Day. Um, I was thinking about coming on again tomorrow and adding some tips for if you have a male or female partner, uh, ways to make them feel um, really appreciated on Valentine's Day. I've always, like, I kind of think of this as this should be kind of a no pressure holiday um, that's similar to Christmas or birthday. If we get to, like, there is the possibility to think of Valentine's Day as a way to celebrate our lover and our partner as like a joyous thing rather than like a pressure and an obligation. I know a lot of people can feel that way. Um, sometimes, especially our men can feel that way about like pressure and obligation. Um, so I'll speak to that a little bit tomorrow in my video. And um, yeah, I just invite you to celebrate yourself, even if it's just after listening to this video, even if it's by DMing me and saying, yes, I want to be in touch with my radiance. If it's by, you know, going and doing something delicious for yourself today, 
um, thinking about one thing that you appreciate or love about yourself, um, uh, or even thinking about taking the idea of turning Valentine's Day week into a celebration of self-love like I do. So I invite you to all of that and wish you so much goodness and juiciness today. Sending you lots of love. This is Carrie Margaret from Great Love.